in the name of Allah, the entirely merciful and special mercifuls. This is me, Noman, and we will be going to talk about radio telemetry. So the first of all, I say to welcome to you peoples to the ball of teachings. This is the ball of taking tracking techniques. So in a ball of tracking technique, we will be going to talk about radio telemetry. So today our topic is our radio telemetry. So let's first talk about the radio telemetry. That what is radio telemetry? So the radio telemetry it is the uh, it is the radio telemetry. It is the determinations of the locations by using the electromagnetic well. So you people know that what is the electromagnetic well? The electromagnetic well is an invisible and silent energy well. So we are going to use the silent and uh, electromagnetic well for the determinations of the location of the animals or etc or the wild animals so this thing is known as a radio telemetry so let's first talk about the component of the radio telemetry that what is a component and what is the factor present in the radio telemetric system so in a radio telemetric system the first one is a radio transmitter so the radio transmitter and another one is radio antenna and the third one is a radio receiver so let's come to first talk about the radio transmitter that what is a radio transmitter the radio transmitter is worn by the animal and it is the part of that transmit or send the radio signal our transmitter is consists of the following four measures uh, areas in a transmitter there is a poor major area the first one it is the power source which is a rechargeable battery cell or a solar cells that give energy to that radio transmitter and in another one it is the electronic packages consisting of the circuit board and the crystal oscillators and the another one it is the a transmission antenna so in a radio transmitter also there is an antenna called transmission antenna that gives transmissions to the uh, another uh, main radio antenna and the fourth one it is attachment point mean that there will be an attachment point from which we can attach that a transmitter to the animals so let's first talk about the wet and attachment method that how we will be attached and what will be the weight of that transmitter so the uh, the transmitter weight should be not exceed three to five percent of the body weight of the animal for example if a uh, animal has so gram 100 gram weight so it's mean that we can warn three to five gram the transmitter to that animal and we will be going to talk about the attachment that what is attachment so attachment it's mean that to glue it on them so we can attach the uh, transmitter by a power way a lot of ways but it's depend upon the transmitter uh, nature that how the transmitter and how we can want it so the first one it is a neck color uh, neck color attachment so we can put the uh, transmitter in the neck of the animal so that is known as a neck color attachment glue on attachment glue on attachment may mean that we can attach the transmitter on a glue to the animals and also we can uh, give enter mount uh, solings uh, techniques in a solving uh, inter uh, inter mounting we can give the transmitter by mouth or we can solo by that animals and give it and they can enter that transmitter into the body and the another one it is a complex bag style we can make a bag and they can walk to the animals so that is known as a complex bag style now we are going to talk about the radio antenna that what is a radio antenna so the radio antenna is used by the researchers to receive the transmissions broadcast from the study animals and receptions antenna must have the following properties that antenna must have the power property the two property it must to be tuned in the control frequency mean that it it we can be tuned on the correct frequency must match connect frequency range setting will be cause poor performance and antenna must be larger so as they can get her signal or a large area and the third one we are going to talk about the radio receiver the very basic receiver are similar to the FM radio uh, and the prick and required the user to tune a specific frequencies the modern receiver 
also have a scanning capability or output for the computer to automatic data recording. So these are about radio telemetric system. Uh, dear student, we are going to talk about a little the significance of the radio telemetry. With the help of radio telemetry, scientists can find can know about the presence or absence of the specific animals within a reception range. And the second, it is uh, know about the homing activity and number and time of migratory parts. So dear student, we are going to talk about the limitation of radio telemetric system. So monitoring equipment often it pair with the mobility of animals and the size and lifespan of the battery required to power the transmitter it is another limitation due to which the radio telemetric uh, system can perform over short periods, not a long periods. So you people know that the battery is uh, rechargeable when the charge is over so it cannot work. In. So so this is also one of the major uh, limitations to the radio telemetric system and thanks you for watching that video if you people learn something from my radio so like and share and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching